Yo, it's really good future. I just want to express my gratitude for each and every person who actually thumbs up the video where I was talking about nursing, whether or not I should continue it. You know, that outcry of, uh, or the outpour of support that I saw from you guys, it's, it was overwhelming and it was nonetheless amazing to see that there was actually a community on my channel because like, sometimes I don't know, it, YouTube is a come and go platform and like some people come, some people go, some people stay. It was just amazing to see how much people commented, how much people thumbs up the video, and uh, just the engagement was out of this world. I wanted to go back and uh, take a look at a couple old clips, and this is like one of those vlogs where I never really finished, and uh, I'm gonna talk, no, I'm not gonna talk about it. Let's go ahead and jump to that vlog. Anyone seen that movie Get Out? <laughs> Yo, it was really good, future. Ow! Okay, that, that hurt. Ooh, but it tasted good. Got some coffee here. We're winding down on the last, how many more days? What's it, hold on, let me, let me check. So, got 11 more days on my contract and I have 11 more days to decide what I wanna do in my future. My agency is trying to see if I wanna extend and I'm thinking about it because the rate isn't gonna drop. So they're gonna keep my uh, 40 plus an hour rate and I'm gonna take the stipend. So I'm looking for places to stay right now and I might do Airbnb, but I'm also asking some uh, friends around, um, the people I've networked with here, uh, just in case. So uh, it'd be a lot easier that way if I knew someone. I'm gonna try to figure out this upcoming month and from there kinda, kinda go from there, but I'll be taking a month off. And uh, the good thing is every day's a great. You ever take that first sip of coffee and it just touches your soul? Woo! Bomb diggities. Here's dinner right now. I got some BCAs that I'll sip on later. Still sipping on my coffee. Got some rice, some chicken and vegetables, and I'm gonna eat this. Oh man. All right, let's dip. It has been quite the stressful night, and I apologize I haven't been able to record much, only because uh, <laughs> it's not really crazy, it's, it's very task consuming. Basically got two step down patients. Let me get through this shift, and I'll see you during my break. I'll talk to you then. What we have here is a uh, Hidden Valley Oats and Honey, and I'm trying to keep it as healthy as possible, some popcorn, which is pretty voluminous. It will last me throughout the rest of the shift. Oh, all right. Whew. Okay, it hasn't been hectic the first four hours is hectic. Only because like when you get a patient who gets out of bed often, they become a huge fall risk, and that's what was happening. And uh, I don't have anyone like hemodynamically unstable, but it's more like pain issues that you deal with. It's always comfort and pain issues you gotta deal with. Keep that in mind in nursing. Is that Sometimes you might think that they're drug seeking. And this is something I've learned over the years is that like, if they have surgery, they freaking fillet your chest open, man. You're gonna be in pain. And don't assume that the patient's not in pain or that they're faking it. When in reality, they are in pain, especially if a patient is opiate dependent. So keep that in mind. Besides that, I'll try to talk to you on the floor if I can again, but I got most of my work done. Just gotta pass my meds in the morning. And we're good. Um, I'm starting to run out of people who I watch on YouTube. If you could recommend to me really good vloggers, uh, I'll watch whatever, but um, let me know what's up. All right, so the reason why this vlog was incomplete that night was because there was just so much going on that night, and I just remember I was a little stressed, but I tried my best to get clips. And um, today, to kind of make up for, I wanted to teach you guys something, and uh, that is uh, lead placement. And a lot of people get really confused with this concept, and the least I could do is actually teach you this and kind of show you which parts of the heart are affected and I believe that this will help a lot of you guys. So if you guys so far enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up. Uh, let's get this video to at least 60 likes. Let's see, let's see how strong you guys are with this. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Let's go back to the drawing board back here. If you guys don't know, like again, I used to be an artist prior to being a nurse. I, actually, I still am an artist, but um, 
I do a lot of like my uh, planning, my artwork back there, and let's jump to it. So, uh, this is a very simple diagram that that I understand. This is what I know that I could teach you, and I hope that it helps you in your practice one day when you're looking at an EKG and you're in the clinic setting and you want to impress someone. Here we go. Um, this is a diagram that I use that it has helped me so much, all right? And I, I actually committed this to memory. And I want you to think of this as your heart right here, okay? I'm not gonna even write heart, but it, that's what I want you to think of it as. Because the heart is a very important factor, and I just want you to think of this as your, uh, your midline, okay? This is your left shoulder. I'm not gonna get into the specifics, AVL, AVR, okay? A V F. So looking at the heart right here, we've got your lead one. Okay, you got your lead two, and you got your lead three. It gets a little bit more in depth. You really don't have to memorize all this, but you could always remember that that is a negative, that's a positive, and these are positives. So one thing you have to understand with this. A lot of the negatives and the positives, or not a lot, like the negatives and the positives reciprocate. So if one part of the heart is affected, the other part will reciprocate. Let's take a look at this further. What was taught to me as well is like you could always, you could think of it like this too. Some people do it this way. Uh, I've taught, I was taught this way as well. Okay, so this is lead one. Just look at it like this, and then lead three is on this side and lead two. But that, this is just an alternative. I don't, I'm not trying to confuse you. Just remember, top one, uh, right side or left left side two, and uh, this side. Man, I got this totally confused. Sorry. B A V R, and this is A V A V L. I, I apologize. Taking a look at this right here, you want to consider. Uh, the parts of the heart right here inferior okay this is the bottom bottom of the heart or button <laughs> uh, inferior inferior and then the front side of the heart is your anterior right and then the, of course the back is posterior they're not really looking at the posterior they're more looking at the la the inferior anterior and the lateral which is the side and you've also got your superior up here okay uh, the reason why I'm teaching you this is we really have to know this diagram right here and the reason why is when it comes to the tests the test makers are trying to see whether or not you understand which parts of the heart are affected uh, for example to give you a uh, situation inside the clinic setting where where they're like okay so two three and AVF are affected okay which part of the heart is affected the diagram you're automatically gonna think inferior so, Basically, you're uh, you're already sh you should be thinking of the anterior, in the inferior. Sorry, the anterior. You're not really thinking that until it's up, like the anterior lateral portion. Like, well, they'll give you different kinds of leads. The main uh, ones that you always want to think of actually are the right coronary artery occlusions and LAD occlusions. CA is affected primarily by leads two, three, and AVF. The LED, what affects the LED specifically, leads V1 through V4. Now, this is a simple concept. Think of it as the heart. So you got V1, V2, and just follow where the heart goes. Here's V4, V3, V5, V6. So as long as you memorize this right here, you you will kind of see where it's at. So this is, these are the uh, the main arteries of the heart, the coronary arteries. It uses your right coronary artery and your left ascending, or left anterior descending. So hope this helps you. I know it wasn't the best like presentation of, uh, you know, of everything, but uh, this is a basic diagram that I've I've helped some people with, and kind of understanding where the part of the heart is affected when they're asking questions on the NCLEX and uh, if you oh yeah another one that I want to teach you before I go was the main circumflex main circumflex okay so with the main circumflex you are going to see changes in lead V5 and V6 
and also the last one, if I can recall from memory, was AVL, which which AVL, which is the left side. So main circumflexit primarily affects the left side. So if you guys enjoyed this, I do appreciate you guys' thumbs up and everyone who supports this vlog, this video. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, the inferior of my heart, for each and every one of you guys' support. All right. Besides that, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. And I hope you guys are enjoying your learning. Peace.